Mr Speaker, it's also right that we pay tributes to the right honourable member, the member for North East Somerset. How, will, how we will all miss this affectatious patronisation. And at least one good thing has come out of the oxymoron of his new job. At least one person has been gainfully employed by their disastrous Brexit. Apparently he's wandering up and down. <laughs> Hopefully you might get on to the business as well. It is very funny, but come on. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. And uh, I thank him for his warm words about my uh, predecessor. Uh, he, he, he happened to say to me, uh, he did warn me that uh, the Honourable Gentleman was quite an angry man. I, I'm, I'm concerned about uh, uh, every, every, every week he turns up here, Mr Speaker, in a very angry state. I'm concerned about that. Uh, when I meet him outside, he seems to be very calm. But as he crosses the line, he seems to have this huge anger. It's, it is my personal mission to try and soothe the Honourable Gentleman. I, I am the pseudo cream to his nappy rash. <laughs> We will, we will work together, uh, and I will, I will calm him as we, as we, as we move forward.